Hi, I'm Ellen from The Chili Dog. I'm finishing off my polarity hat, and I'd like to show you how to do a pinhole bind off to cinch in the top. This neatly matches the pinhole cast on that I used on the other end of the hat. In addition to bottom up hats, this finishing method works well for mittens and top down socks. Let's get started. I finished knitting my hat and I'm left with eight stitches on my needles, four on the front and four on the back. And you can use this method with more stitches, but I think it works best with between about eight and 16. Otherwise you have quite a bit of bulk to cinch in here. Rather than passing the stitches one over the other, instead you use your yarn tail and pull it through the remaining stitches in the same order that they were knit. If, like me, you have stitch markers hanging on your needles at this point, it is really important that you remove them. Otherwise, it's quite possible that as you're threading your yarn tail through the stitches, that you'll end up going through the stitch marker and then instead of becoming a temporary placeholder it is a permanent part of your knitting so i'll just remove the two stitch markers And then I'm ready to begin. My yarn tail goes onto a yarn needle. And then I'm going to pull my yarn tail through the stitches in the order that they were knit. Looks like I need to turn things over here. So this was the last stitch I knit in the round. So I'm going through parallel to my stitches and it can be easiest if you are able to, to slide the stitches down to the cord. So I've just gone parallel through all the stitches once. I rotate my hat to the other side. I'll go through the next four stitches. And again, it can be easiest if it's on there on a cord because you have a little bit more maneuvering room. And then for extra security, I actually like to go through those final stitches one more time. But this time you can drop them off your knitting needles as you go. So I go through the first four stitches of my round. Drop them off the needle and pull the tail through. And then go through the next four stitches of the round. Dropping them off my knitting needle and pull the yarn through. Finally, your yarn needle is going to go down through that hole at the center. So you poke it through to the wrong side. If you can reach up into your knitting and grab the needle from the other side, that's what you would do and you would cinch the yarn or cinch the pinhole and weave in the yarn tail on the wrong side. Because my hat is worked end to end, after I push the needle through the pinhole, I also need to poke it out the other side. So I can grab it, 
pull the yarn needle through as I'm pulling. That top bit is cinched in nice and tight. And then I'm going to pull my yarn, just trim it, and that let that little extra bit of yarn go back in to the inside of the hat. And my hat is complete. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a pinhole bind off. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for our polarity hat. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.